Hi, welcome to Wiki TV and Cash and Today I'm going to talk about the great technologies like a query that is a truncated statement. It's a fantastic video. I want to give it to you in 100 seconds. Sir. So I wish all the people who got placed via our company, congrats people. And to the HRs and recruiters, if you got a chance to look into this particular video, please send a job description to us. We'll give the best candidates to you with a free of cost. So if you talk about the website, you've got a client in a server. The client is a guy who is asking something. The server is a guy who is processing something to you. So he is serving you. That is why your client server methodology comes into the picture. The request will come in the form of SQL. So the SQL will come via the internet to the server the server is classified into the server and the database where the data is getting stored actually like uh, it's not inserting the data we are able to retrieve the data back from the server over here you got the SQL call retrieve SQL via that you are able to get the data and the client is getting processed it is it, it, the request is processed over here if we talk about the technology like uh, how the hierarchy of data is stored you got the database server under that the server will have a lot of databases and in this databases you this is a database where you got a lot of tables the tables will have a lot of rows and columns this is how the hierarchy of data stored in the database if we talk about if you want to know lots and lots of things about the like sql concept here is the link where you can see what are the things you can learn from sql just scroll down scroll down you are able to see a lot of topics just learn all these topics you'll become an expert in technology so let's talk about how the data is getting deleted so using a delete statement you can do it so here is a table user table and here is the data the query is delete from table over here you are able to see the data is getting deleted that's awesome man so deleting the entire data is happening via this particular query so i don't want to delete the entire data over here i got a var condition where id is equal to 2 it will take out that particular data if you talk about the delete statement delete statement will work in deleting each and every rows one by one and it will log all the data who deleted what did everything into your file log file so that the data can be recovered if it is accidentally deleted and since i'm working on the data it is called a dml statement and you can have a var condition to filter the data which i want to delete you may ask me a question so you told about the truncate statement right let's see an alternative now here is the one like this is one of the tutorials which i have written personally with the lots of animations and everything go to this link i'll put this link in the description the first command scroll down you are able to see lots of content over here just scroll down you can see lots of contents man so you can see the animations and everything so everything i've written personally these articles go just go and check it out you'll enjoy it let's talk about the alternative data deletions and sql here is a truncate statement truncate table table name it will delete the entire data that's already awesome so then what is the difference sir truncate will work at a short it's not one by one data deletion it will delete at a short and no logging of data it won't log the data as it is and so you can't recover the data and the data the, the truncate is a kind of a processing of the data it is a dml operations and there is no var conditions to filter the data delete at a short that's how your truncate works. You may ask me a question. Say, so in my SQL handle, they're telling it's a DDL, right? So, in some software, it works like a DDL statement. It delete the entire structure itself. And delete the, the entire structure itself. That's why it is called a DDL statement in some software like my SQL. In my personal opinion, truncate is a DML statement. I okay, hope you got an idea. Like, if you want to learn more about it, you can go to our company, Cash Info. We are providing internships and courses via online, offline. You can you can contact us anytime. Here is my email ID to contact me, and here's my com company numbers, phone numbers to contact us. And if you're looking for a job, if you want to meet me, yes, I'm in office. You can come down to my office anytime in Chennai. My office is located in Chennai, India. And here's my Insta account. So here's the account. Click this follow button. Contact me. I'm ready to help you people. Okay, these are the, some of the courses which I won't prefer you people to join. The one is DevOps, and the other one is uh, like um, maybe this is Java with Selenium software testing plsql python and sap please avoid this kind of courses if you want to learn oracle plsql just learn along with this one you must learn some front end, like front end development python there are a lot of huge competition these are things where you should not prefer because only fake experienced candidates will be getting job over there okay anyway if you want to learn technology okay these are the things you can this is a ranking which i'm trying to give it to you people okay so these are the rankings which you can prefer to get job for sure and anyway, i hope you enjoy my video thanks for watching and here's my social network channel you can join at any time if you need any help you can contact me thank you